something else that is a fairly common American breakfast food, and we're going to turn it into a Greek breakfast. So we're going from breakfast wrap to opa Greek wraps. And why is it Greek? Because the ingredients we're using are going to be meat. So if you can't find this, a lot of times I find that you can get this at the Mediterranean store. Sometimes you can find it in your supermarket in the frozen food section. And they're usually fully cooked, and all you have to do really is to brown it a little bit. You don't you want to get nice and crispy on the edges. Right. It's, it's almost like trying to do some bacon, but we're going to do it with gyro meat. It's not gyro. Gyro. <laughs> gyro. Gyro. So all my friends out there that say gyro, you heard it here first. So we're just chopping this up, and we're going to put it in the pan and let it brown up a little bit. And we're using one pan for everything. This is, yeah, this is a one pan dish. I'm off camera. And Back on. Up. So while this is browning, we're going to crack our egg, have that ready to go. Little shell in there. Delicious. <laughs> I like, what? I like extra, a little crunch in your extra, egg, right? Extra crunch, extra it's salt. Extra protein. I don't think so. Yes, <laughs> it is extra protein. And we're going to scramble that up. And we're also going to use a roasted red pepper. I don't want that yet. You don't want that yet? Sucker out. And these are usually really good, but you have to make sure it's, it's dried up. You don't want all that liquid in there or the seeds. You take so scrape those off. And we're going to chop it up. Greeks love bell peppers. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of our favorite things to put in almost everything. And these are great in the jar because Except it takes you a lot of time. Except lamb. Well, I mean, I guess you can serve. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Our egg, a little pepper. We like fresh ground pepper. It looks like our gyro meat might be just about done. We're going to add some milk. And we're going to cut up this cheese. See, it's a huge time saver. While one thing is cooking, you get everything else prepped, so you're not in the kitchen a long time. Uh, prepping ingredients ahead of time. So look, our chocolate meat is nice and brown. See how that looks? And it smells really good. Now we're going to add our egg with that little bit of milk. And we're going to scramble it up because this is a breakfast wrap. And what does it get wrapped in? We're using um, this time we're using Gondos Greek Lifestyle Flatbread because this one is actually a healthier version because it's got more protein and it's really much lower in carbs, um, sugar. calories, and sugar. And it's really high in taste. So and now we're going to add this one out and get it ready. And we're going to add our bell pepper in here. And in just one second, when Jackie's done, we're going to add that to our breakfast wrap. Hey Jackie, you can add that in. Maybe don't need the whole thing. That's what do you think we heat up the pita bread? You can. You can. You can heat it up for a couple of seconds. Yep. You can put it in the microwave or you can put it in the toaster. Oop, and I'm popping out here. You could wrap it in foil and heat it up in the oven. And we just want to heat this through till the cheese melts. Of course, we're using Greek cheese. Ten seconds in the microwave is plenty of time to heat up your pita bread. Yeah. And this is just about done. And this is going to go right in our pita bread. And many times, you know, when you're using cheese and stuff, it doesn't have to completely melt in your pan because it does continue to cook after you put it in your wrap. And there we have it. Okay. Okay. So, so, so. Wrap. Jackie folds it over. 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 And 
get ourselves a toothpick. And there we have it. An Oba oh. breakfast wrap. Kaliorexi. Kaliorexi. Enjoy. And this completes our breakfast series. And join us again next time. We're going to start doing some lunch things.